Hello everyone, today I'm going to reacting to Flo's Elite EP. If you want to skip right to my reaction, all the times on the screen right here to where you guys can go to. And now onto a couple of disclaimers. Number one, this is just my personal opinion and interpretation. I'd love to hear you down below, just keep it respectful, please. Sorry for any background noise or dust particles that may occur throughout this video. I'm going to be stopping and giving thoughts as I go along. I'm going to have to cut out a lot of each song due to copyright. If you see me looking down on my phone, that's just because I'm going to have the lyrics pulled up. Lastly, if I have any else, don't forget to check down below and my heavy pin comment. And let's get into it. The first song is Cardboard Box. I have heard parts of this on Twitter, but this will be my first time hearing the full thing. I got a confession. I don't think I want you anymore. Saw pennies on the bathroom floor. But in love with this for fuck too long. What's the point in stringing me alone? So I'm not just shit in the cardboard box. No changing the locks. You may be crying, but boy, I Okay, so my thoughts on the song, very enjoyable overall. I really appreciated the vocal performance from all of them. I love the harmonies. I liked where they took their vocals. It was always really interesting to listen to there. I really love the production on the song. I like the lyrics too. Really interesting to get to hear this for myself for the first time. Now to track two, Immature. <laughs> I don't like that. That doesn't make any sense to me. It just, on the years, like, it was sounding so beautiful, and then that part just took me out of the song. That's, it's not for me personally. Maybe you guys might like it. You might disagree with me. That's fine, but I don't get it. We'll continue. So my thoughts on this song i think that it's good the only part that bothers me is that one part i was talking about the vocals like i said it just takes me out of the song i feel like that wasn't necessary but again the harmony the way that they work together as a group and by themselves is really fascinating to listen to and i really like that one part was basically just acapella and i love whenever artists do that because it really shows up the vocals and so that was really interesting to hear i like the production on here i feel like lyrically not as good as the first song it's okay maybe a little bit too repetitive for my taste but overall i like it just that one part bothers me a little bit but i'll have to see how i feel about the song as i keep listening to it now to track three summertime <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so my thoughts on this song. I feel like it was great to listen to. I really appreciated the melody. I thought that that was catchy. And it's definitely giving 90s in terms of that. And the vocal delivery, which I can appreciate. Again, really nice vocals to listen to here. And I just enjoy the track overall. I feel like it's a step up from the last one. Now to track four, feature me. Now what I used to do, what I've been keeping you. Let me break in the rules. It's my forbidden fruit. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, interesting to listen to in terms of the production, I really liked it. And then I also really like their vocals once again. I know I get repetitive in these videos, but I can only think of so many words to describe like how I'm feeling, but I definitely did enjoy the song, really nice melodies here. And now to the fifth and final track, Another Guy Acoustic. Okay, so my thoughts on the song, a really nice way to close things off. I like that they like stripped it back to like the guitar there. That was really nice to listen to. And I thought that their voices blended wonderfully once again. Good lyrics on the track. And it was interesting at the end going back to the guitar because I thought it would resolve itself musically and it kind of didn't. I thought it'd be like one final chord and things out and kind of left me wanting a little bit more in that regard. But overall, I like the song. I want to share my favorite songs on this EP with you based off my first listen. So I'm going to say Summertime and another guy acoustic i think those are my favorites at this moment in time but of course as I listen more my opinions can change and now to my overall thoughts on this ep this was definitely an enjoyable listen it really allowed me to get to see what they're about as a group in terms of the harmonies the songwriting and what they're trying to do and so i can definitely appreciate it on that standpoint didn't run on too long and overall i really enjoyed singing like i said that one part in immature what they do with the chorus not my personal favorite but i mean i liked everything else on all the other songs so i'm really excited to see what they release in the future and i will definitely be checking out for it but i think if you're interested in listening to this you definitely should stellar vocals good summary on here good production as well so something that i wanted to add is that i was on their spotify page and there's this one playlist and it's just like their influences i believe music that they really enjoy like as a group collectively and then they also have separate ones 
and it was really interesting to go through and see who they put on there and so what really stood out to me Mariah Carey is on there who is my favorite artist of all time for so many different reasons and then I also saw Beyonce, Brandy, Janet Jackson, Aaliyah. I believe that I also saw a Whitney Houston song on there as well and so seeing that you really do love to see it for so many different reasons like these people are some of the best of all time for so many different reasons and it really makes a lot of sense like whenever I was talking about like their harmonies and their appreciation for it because they studied people who notoriously really care about that and vocal layering like Mariah Carey and Brandy for example are like two of the best of that in my personal opinion so seeing them study the greats you love to see it it makes the music make so much sense especially because I said one of the songs sounded like the 90s so everything is really tying in nicely and so I definitely really appreciate that and just what a moment something cool that I noticed that I had to add in this video because everything really clicked for me once I put everything together that's gonna be it for my thoughts on the CP I'd love to know what you guys are thinking down below in the comments but that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it give it a like down below it helps me out a lot the YouTube algorithm I'd very much appreciate it you can subscribe right down below for more videos like this if you hit the bell next to that you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video so you not miss when new videos come out the first link down below in the description is going to be my second channel I'll post a new video on there over a week ago talking about my thoughts on Mariah getting inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame and her performance at the BET Awards and more so definitely go check that out if you want to see more of me more content is to come on that channel for sure also going to have my Twitter, my Instagram, and Spotify if you like to follow me as well as links to stream the CP if you're interested definitely check it out and I'll have the links to educate you guys on important situations thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one